Hi there. In this short video, we will cover the first few steps to bring up an RxG. First, let's ensure that our DNS record is in place. We do this by running a DNS query for the FQDN that we have selected. Here, we see the RxG software is installed as a virtual machine. We can then use the console to change the uplink IP address to match what we have configured for the FQDN. It will take a moment for the system to reconfigure the interface. Once this is complete, we can now access the web GUI through a browser. We use HTTPS to load the slash admin path on the IP address we just configured. There will be a security warning due to the use of a self-signed certificate by the web server. We will resolve this issue by acquiring and installing a certificate signed by a trusted third party in the next few steps. For now, let's simply proceed through the warning. We are now presented with the license page. Let's copy the IUI from the screen in order to paste it into the RGNets License Manager. Navigate to license.rgnets.com and log in with your support credentials. Configure your asset for standalone deployment. This system will provide you with a data entry field for the IUI. Paste the IUI and enter the FQDN into the appropriate fields. The RxG will automatically pull the license from the internet. You must now create an initial administrator. The minimum information that must be entered is the login and password. The RxG is now ready to be configured. First, Navigate to the Options view using the System menu. We must configure the Time Zone and the FQDN. It is critical to ensure that the FQDN matches the DNS record and the Time Zone is correctly configured. These settings are required in order for proper SSL certificate validation. The web server will restart once these settings are applied. We can now move on to acquire an SSL certificate via the Let's Encrypt cloud infrastructure. We navigate to the Certificates view using the System menu. We can create a new certificate and scroll down to add the certificate signing request information. We must populate the name and set the signing mode to Let's Encrypt. The common name must match the FQDN in order for validation to work correctly. The country code, state, locale, and email address must also be entered. Once the certificate is created, it will take a minute for the RxG to contact Let's Encrypt for validation. Edit the downloaded certificate and click the active checkbox. The RxG will now restart the web server with the Let's Encrypt signed certificate. Reloading the web page will show that the properly signed certificate is now installed and being used by the web server. You should now be able to connect to the web GUI using the FQDN. The connection should be established without any certificate warnings or errors. The initial configuration of the RxG is now complete. Thank you for watching this brief demonstration of the RxG's initial configuration. Ciao.